Here we have another Dell 2007 FPB monitor. So let's call this episode 2 of the Dell 2007 repair series season 1. The problem with this monitor is that it is trying to start up but fails and turns off. If you want to see the opening up and reassembly of this monitor, please watch episode 1 of this series. Here we skip to the part where the boards are out and we are going to measure the usual suspects on the main power supply board. The capacitors are measuring fine. The big unbus capacitor is good and the three parallel 470 microfarad capacitors total up to about 1400 microfarads, so that should do. Since we have the fixed monitor of episode 1, I swapped the main power supply board with the known working one, but it still won't start up, so it must be a different board that needs attention. So I decided to take the working monitor and swap the boards one by one until it wasn't working anymore. It turned out to be that the board with the USB ports is the problem. I measured all the capacitors and they all measured fine. After searching YouTube for a while I found one video, which I will link below, that shows a fault with one of the resistors under the white blob on the board. I guess the initial intention of the white blob was to act as a heatsink but it must have found a new career in heat isolation and fuck up the resistors it was meant to cool down. So let's excavate these tiny little components and present you with the archaeological findings. Examining the resistors with the magnifying glass, I was able to read the values they are supposed to have. The 010 I drew should be 01C, which is supposed to stand for 10 kilo ohms. On the other resistors, the first two numbers are the digits, and the last number the number of zeros to put behind those digits. So 153 means 15 with three zeros, making 15 kilo ohms. The bottom one, 272, means 27 with two zeros making 2.7 kilo ohms. The 2.1 kilo ohm resistor measures in the mega ohm range, so that's practically an open circuit. Let's replace that one. I haven't got a 2.7 kilo ohm resistor, but I figured that if it almost starts with a mega ohm resistor, it will probably do fine with a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. These surface mount resistors are so small that it is quite hard to solder a new resistor on its connection point without a microscope. So I used my multimeter to find a point on the PCB that is connected to one side of the resistor and use that to bridge the resistor. Since it is in the mega ohms, we'll just solder the new resistor parallel to the original resistor.
After putting everything back together, see how that is done in the first video of this series, the monitor is working again. The monitor turns out to have a service menu as well, which can be accessed by turning it off, keeping the menu and plus button pressed, then turning it on, and after it has turned on, releasing these buttons, and then pressing the minus button. And another Dell monitor saved from the scrap heap. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and until the next video, bye then!